sebelumnya. Sebelumnya, gitu ya. Can I share mine then? Maybe she's... You can, yeah, you can. Salome, you there? Somebody was sharing his screen, so I didn't want to... Um... Okay, no, he disconnected. I don't know what happened with him. Okay, uh, can you give me control, please? I'm sharing mine, so you see? Okay, you are sharing your, okay. Yeah. Um, fine, no worries. So uh, let's get started with uh, the Azure account uh, creation. So today, <coughs> what we have to do, we need to create our Azure account. So everybody else will have to follow the same step. Uh, hello, me. You there? Or she disconnected? She is disconnected, I believe. Okay. No worries. So you have to. Have you created your Azure account before, or this is the first time? Huh? Uh. Downloading and doing, I think this is the first time, but uh, easily. Government side, you know, they already have installed everything. Is just, you know, add your account. So, yeah. No, I, I, I'm talking about the Azure account. Have you created your Azure account before? Uh, no. No, oh, okay. Now, <clears throat> type in. Uh, uh, in Google, you need to type in Azure free trial. This one, create a free account today, Microsoft Azure official yes. site. Click on. Start free. Yeah, so you have to click on start free. OK, so you need to uh, Click on use another account and type in your uh, Gmail here. Let's try your Gmail. If not, then you will have to create a new account. Click on next. Sign in. Your account password, you have some long password. Okay, let's go back. Click on back. Click on back on the top. You have back option. Back. Back again. OK, so click on use another account. And choose create one. Now type in your Gmail account. So everyone, what we are doing, we are creating 
Azure free account. Next is already a Microsoft account. Please try a different email address. So you will have to have a different email address. So let's click oh, yeah, on get I a might. new email. Click on get a new email address. Now type in your first dot last name at outlook.com. Next. Password. Choose a new password. Next. Make a note of this username and password somewhere on a piece of paper. Yeah. Okay. Click on next. Choose any random date of birth. You could have typed in manually. I know. <laughs> Alright. Next. Move the shoes uh, in the same direction where the finger is pointing. Click on the arrow to move. One more time. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Back. 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 Yeah. So no, 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 click on the uh, this arrow. Click on this arrow, the other arrow. Yeah, and submit. Here you need to give your first name. Middle name, last name. phone number text me it will send you a verification code on your mobile Has to be the same. I'm, I'm yeah. exactly. You have to give your address. Okay, wait, don't share. Stop sharing. Stop sharing. Okay, now enter your credit card details there. How much they're going to charge? Nothing. Okay, Hold on, let, me my, let me get my card. <laughs> anybody, anybody else uh, doing side by side? Salome, Sudhakar, Sharif. No one. 
Sir, I am doing so. Okay. Hussain, when you created your account? Mm, I was watching your video last night, so just thought I'll try that out. <laughs> Yesterday you created your account? Yeah, I was watching one of your videos on YouTube, so that's how I just got it done. Okay, so you have to create your Azure account if you would like to, you know, set it up on Azure Cloud Data Center. Otherwise, you will have to do it on local. No, no, I said I've created the account after I saw your video yesterday. Okay. Salome, are you doing it side by side or you will do it later on? With the recording. Can't hear you. Sorry. Where are you based off? Where do you stay? Your voice is breaking up. I'm saying, where, where are you based out of? Uh, Mumbai? Yes, Mumbai. Okay. Ramatullah, is your yes. account ready? Account ready saying they send me a code on my email. Mm -hmm. So I need to log into. Okay. Outlook. Okay, hold on a second. No, on the browser itself, type in uh -huh. outlook.office.com. Uh -huh.
Yes, Ramatullah. Yes, yes. I'm logged in. Okay, I don't see your screen. Which yeah, I'm, uh, going, to, can you I'm going to share it right now. I can I can see the screen, but it is not showing where you you are. Okay, so you oh, you have two screen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what is my? So you need to go to portal dot azure dot com. Portal dot azure dot com. Oh. Once you created that... your account. You uh -huh. need to open a new tab on the top and click on portal.azure.com. Click on skip. Skip. So this is the first time you created your account, right? Yes. OK, let me take control. Sure. Give me control, please. Have you clicked on? Yes, yes. I just clicked. Yeah, I still don't have control. OK, no worries. You can continue. So <clears throat> this is Azure uh account you just created and it gives you 30 days free trial so how do we get 30 days free trial um verification so let's uh, search subscription on the top yeah yeah click on subscription <coughs> It says uh, Azure subscription one. one. So Azure subscription one is free trial itself, but just click on that again. So on the top you have cancel subscription. And just below that you will have free subscription, which is it will come uh, right now. It is not showing up, but it will show up after a few minutes. So we have. <clears throat> created the subscription. Now what we have to do, we need to create machines. OK, virtual machine. Why we have to create virtual machine? Because we need database server. We need SCCM server. We need domain controller server and we need one Windows 10 machine. OK. So let's yeah. create these machines one by one. So on the top search virtual machine. Virtual machine. Now, during the account creation, Ramatullah, did it give uh -huh. you a message that you are not eligible to create account or something like that? No, no. OK, good. Now <laughs> click on. Sorry. Do you also have a Azure class? Do you run that too? No, I run uh, only two classes, SCCM and Intune. OK. Now here you click on create. An Azure virtual machine. We have to create three virtual machine now, so one by one. So let's create domain. So subscription is Azure subscription one. That's OK now. Resource group resource group we have to create resource group is what it's a container a box kind of thing wherein all the resources will be. Um, all the resources will be part of that container, so type in MECM and hyphen training. The container name is MECM hyphen training. So all the machines will go into this. OK, you cannot give a, a, a hyphen. Let's delete hyphen without any hyphen. Let MECM training. And. Without any space, I think you have given space after training. After training, you have given a space. 
Oh, spelling is incorrect. Yeah. M A C A T I. Yeah. Huh. Click on OK. Now, name of the machine domain. Virtual machine name. Type in domain. Don't give a space. Yeah. It does not accept a space. Okay. Now, region. So let's give East uh, US first one. Okay. Now, availability zone, choose no infrastructure redundancy needed. The first one. Then, security type, choose a standard. Then you have image, choose Windows Server 2019. Windows Server 2019. Yes. Data center. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Now scroll down. So it's saying size one CPU and one GB RAM. Let's change that to one CPU and 3.5 RAM. 3.5. Yeah, that is the one. Very good. Now username. Let's give the username as your name. Just give your name. Full name or just from first name? First, last name, term. first name. Anything. Only one, either first name or last name or middle name, but only single name. Don't give your full name. Muhammad. Okay. Now, type the password. Anything of your so, choice. You create the I same, see. create a new password. Okay. The same password what you have chosen for your Outlook account. You can go with the same password. <clears throat> okay, make a note of this your uh, device username and password. The so domain device name is uh, domain username is Muhammad. And the password which you have just typed in on a piece of paper somewhere. Yeah. So you have to make a note of your Azure account, e email address, and password. That's the first thing. Second, you have to make a note of this username and password for domain server. Make sure you do that, okay? Yes. Now, let's go next disk. Next networking. Now here we have virtual network. So virtual network name is not correct. We have to rename this proper uh, properly. So let's click on create new. And on the top which says domain hyphen vnet, let's delete that and type in East US hyphen vnet. So East US network, right? East US without any space. Uh, I told you, don't, don't give any space. Uh, yes, okay. Hyphen Winnet. So in East US, we are creating a virtual network. Click on OK. Now, below you have public IP. The third box is public IP. Public IP will be Static, basic and static. So click on create new in front of public IP. Choose basic, static, basic, static and click OK. And then choose review plus create down at the bottom. Review plus create. No, no, down at the bottom review plus create. The blue icon here, yeah, blue tab. <clears throat> create. So it's going to cost you 0 0.1260 US dollar per hour from your $200 credit. Click on create. Not from your credit card, not from your bank account. It is going to cost you from the $200 which you have received from Microsoft for one month. 
it's gonna utilize that one create so this is how you create your virtual machine And that will be the URL to um, uh, log in from anywhere, any machine. No, no, no. I will give you the URL. Uh -huh. URL for Azure portal is portal.azure.com. Yeah. Every day you have to open that portal and start the machine. I will guide you how to start the machine. Now the second machine. Let's go back to the search again on the top. Oh, yeah. Yeah, virtual machine. Click on virtual machine. You see your machine is now getting created domain. Now click on Azure virtual machine, create Azure virtual machine. Hmm. Now Azure subscription one is fine. Now second resource group resource group we have already created in the previous one. Don't create a, a new one. Click on the drop down the resource group drop down. You will find the resource group MECM training. So every time you have to choose that one because sure. That is the resource group which all the machine will go to, right? The container is already created. Now, virtual machine name, type in MECM PS, the primary side, MECM PS. So, MECM is what Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager, PS means primary side. East US is okay. The region will be East US. Uh, availability zone, no infrastructure redundancy required then instead uh, security type standard windows server when? 2019 hmm? yeah. windows server 2019 free service yeah, yeah. that's yeah that's, that's already, already selected, selected yeah. Yeah. scroll down now here you have to give two cpu uh, click on the drop down Two CPU and uh, wait a minute. It's very expensive. We will not take the expensive one. Uh, so let's click on see all sizes. And choose the, the second one. Two CPU. It's on 16. Ah. Two CPU, eight GB RAM. Let's choose that one. Select. Now username, same username, Muhammad, and the password. Same password. What you have given for domain. Yeah. And make a note of it. So for MECMPS, it's the same username and same password. Asha, can you just tell me what was the name of the first machine that we were domain? Uh, Second machine, virtual machine M -E -C -M -P -S. Uh, first the first machine one was just domain, D O M A I N. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, I think I will just tell later for that. Okay, next disk, next networking. You need to go next down at the bottom. Okay, you see network. Wait a minute. Network is MECM network, but we have to connect it with East US network, right? So drop down. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. It is still not showing up. So you cannot proceed with this. Let's unless that one finished. Yeah. Yeah, until the because the network is not yet ready. Let's do right. one thing. Let's refresh the whole page. Yeah, let's refresh the whole page and start fresh. So drop drop down choose the resource group MECM training and type in the machine name as MECM PS region East US so we are placing the machine in East US data center and uh, no infrastructure redundancy needed and security type is going to be standard and choose Windows Server 2019 data center. Hmm. 
Oh, uh, click on see all sizes. Choose, wait a minute. Choose this option to CPU. 8 gigram. So. Yeah. 8 GB RAM. Yeah. 2 CPU, 8 GB RAM. Select. Now username same, Mohammed. And the password. Next. Next. East US is coming. Yeah. Yes. So all the machine will be part of East US. Okay. This is okay. Now click on in front of public IP. Click on create new. In front of public IP, choose new and basic and static. Click okay. And now click on review plus create down at the bottom. There is a button. Create. Now let's create the third machine. Go back to virtual machine again. Create virtual machine and resource group will be same MECM training virtual machine name. So we will wait a minute. We will have a new machine. Where are you located? Which city? Um, um I'm in um, Albana. Albana. Rock yeah, Urbana. So type in the first type in the first three letter of your city. A L B. And then okay, Urbana. Oh sorry. U R B. And then W for Windows for V M 001. <clears throat> so we are creating a new virtual yeah. machine. And that is going to be a Windows 10 machine. Okay. Now w in VM001. Okay. It's a virtual Windows virtual machine and which is located in Urbana City. Now, region East US availability zone is infrastructure, no infrastructure redundancy needed and standard. Now, here you choose Windows 10 Pro. Windows 10 Pro. Windows 10. Now scroll down. One CPU and 3.5 RAM. One CPU. No, no, it is already the first one. First one. Select. One CPU, 3.5 RAM. And now username is same, Muhammad, and the same password. So all machine will have same username and same password. Scroll down at the bottom and choose the checkbox. I confirm I have an eligible Windows 10 license. Next. Next. Now here you have public IP in front of public IP. Choose create new basic and static. Click OK. And then choose review plus create. OK, so there are three accounts you have created. Uh, three machines, uh, domain, MECMPS and Windows uh, 10 machine. Yep. 
now we have to log into these machine how will you log into these machine we need to download one application called m remote let's download m remote download m remote ng download click on download now click on the green msi one the green color msi stable version install this accept Make sure you are on your personal computer, not office laptop, guys. If you are on office laptop, don't install this one. Oh. Is this your office laptop? Yeah. Uh, do you have permission? I mean, I can, it's, I share time to time, but that's, there's a no more. Okay. This is just a application which will help you to remote into other machines, the Azure computer. Okay. Yeah, I think that then should be fine. That but if not, you know, I'll I'll just um. Uh... Okay. I don't know what process you guys are following in your organization, so make sure you yeah keep yourself compliant with the policy. And use your personal laptop instead of office computer. So if, if that's, I mean, if anything happened, like you know, I can always uh, my other laptop i can install that tools and okay. i can log in azure that portal and should be able yeah. to yes yeah that's fine okay now let's launch that application the m remote which you have just installed it here yeah, m remote ng now this m remote ng is going to help you to remote into your devices let's click on use recommended setting now here you cl click on the folder icon just above connection you have folder icon now in folder yeah type in east us east us the folder name is east us so in east us we have three machines right just now we have created three machines right click on east us and choose new connection new connection now name it as domain the first domain Again, right click on East US. No, right click on East US. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, sorry. That, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, you have done the right thing. Now type in MECMPS. Right click on East US and then create a new connection. URB WVM001, the three machines what we have created. Very good. Now we have to log into these machines. How will you log in? You have to give the public IP address of these machines. So let's go back to the Azure portal. And go to virtual machine section. On the top, search virtual machine. So you have three machine domain. MEC MPS and this Windows 10 all are running in East US data center. You have to remotely connect to them. Now scroll at the right hand side. Down at the bottom you have the scroller. Now copy the IP first one. Copy. Control C to copy. You need to double click on the IP. Yeah, Control C to copy. Don't right click. Okay. Now go back to M remote application. Click on domain. And here you have host name slash IP below. You have host name IP paste it there in that box. 
paste very good now copy the ip of mecmps copy mecmps click on mecmps <coughs> paste the ip very good now copy the ip of windows 10 machine and paste the ip address of this now in every machine the username type in muhammad and the password hmm. type password here for each machine click on mec mps now username and password Now click All on right. file and save on the top. You have to click on file. And save connection file. Now right click on East US folder and connect. Full screen. Wait, wait, just wait. Okay, so we have Windows 10 machine. Windows 10 is M running. Yeah, click on window MEC MPS. Mm. Click on domain. OK, all, all three machines we are logged into. Each one of them. Now we have to do some basic configuration on. These servers. So let's do the basic configuration on the server. Click on this. Do not show this message again. Check the box and close it. Then we have to click on local server at the left hand side top. Now here we have IP address V6, IP V6 enabled. Click on that. Now right click on Ethernet to properties. Uncheck the box which says Internet Protocol version 6. Okay. <coughs> Same thing you have to do it on. Domain and <coughs> I mean MSC yes. and that. Uh, yes. Now click on MSC MPS. Local server. 
IP address. Click on accept. Now let's search down at the bottom search ncpa.cpl. NCPA for Windows 10 machine ncpa.cpl dot cpl mm, click on that right click on ethernet and go to the properties of that so we are basically removing the ipv6 ipv6 is not needed ipv4 is sufficient click ok yeah, yeah. Okay, now let's go to the domain. And you have internet IE enhanced security, which is on. Let's turn that off. IE enhanced security. At the right hand side column. IE enhanced security up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next below setting below setting. Yes, click on on and turn that off. This will off. This will block you not to go to any website. If it is on, you can't go to any website. So that's the reason we are turning it off. Now we also need to turn off the automatic in update. You know, if you don't do auto, if you don't turn off the automatic update, what will do? It will do. It will install update anytime. So let's right click on start down at the bottom. Run. And type in s config s for sugar config and click ok okay so windows update is currently c point number five is currently set to automatic so let's take the command prompt little up yeah five type in five five hit enter now m and hit enter Then, yeah, it's manual now. now. The, do the same thing in uh, MEC MPS. Go to MEC MPS. Turn off the IE enhanced security. Yes, this. S config. M. Okay, we'll start uh, now. Let's go to the Azure portal. No, <clears throat> our domain. Not doing the domain one. We have already done it on the domain. Oh, so we did domain. Uh, not not the Windows ten. No, Windows ten does not have uh, any restriction. Okay. Let's go to Azure portal. The browser. OK, let's go at the left hand side. Scroll left. Check all the boxes. And stop. Stop. Right hand side top you have the option here stop and click on yes so we don't want to 
keep them running. So tomorrow you need to turn this on again before you join the session. You have to start tomorrow, like five okay. minutes before you join the session. Okay, each one of you. Now search subscription on the top. Subscription. Click on Azure subscription one. Let's wait for a few seconds. Yeah, there you go. You have 200 credit. Your remaining 200 credit free trial expires in 31 days. Wow. Now they are giving 31 days. Previously, they used to give 30 days. Good. All right. OK, we'll meet. We'll take now. it. No problem. Any question from anyone? So what we did, we created three machines. We created Azure account and created three machines. So these are the prerequisite. Before we install our SCCM server, we have to have machines. That's the reason we have created machine. Any questions, Sudhakar? Salome? Hussain? Access is recording. Kasha from you? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah. I will create a WhatsApp group today and add you guys, those who are interested, to continue from tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So those who would like to continue from tomorrow, you need to send me a message on my WhatsApp number that you are interested, so that I can add you in the group. Okay. Um. So, mm. Kasif, uh, if uh, that you know our remote um, uh, NG tools, if I install my other uh, Windows laptop, personal laptop, do I have to go through all this um, uh, configuration again, or it should carry on? It should carry on. You okay. just have to add the machine there. That's it. No problem. No problem. It's a good session today, actually. OK, so those who are interested to continue from tomorrow, so let me know. I will add you in the WhatsApp group. I will send you the payment method as well. You need to make payment and continue. OK, and um, uh, you got my text. That's right. So I, I'll be OK. Mm -hmm. OK, thank you. Thank you. Bye now. Bye everyone. Bye. Salome, any question from your end? All good? Sudhakar? Nothing, sir. I'm okay. I created my account, sir. Okay. Sharif Munshi? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Hussain? All good, all good. Thank you guys. Bye now. Bye everyone.